Hi, so this is Code Cowboy here, and what I'm going to demonstrate is how to create a NuGet package and upload it so that it's publicly available. So this method works for the .NET framework. The .NET standard and the .NET core works a different way. So let me just get started with the eight simple steps. So first, you have to sign up for a NuGet account and just go to www.nuget.org and you want to download this new git.exe. I'll have these instructions pasted under the description area of the video and you want to put that new git.exe command line tool under the Windows path and the main thing is really to create your class library so let me go ahead and walk you through those steps so I have a project here that I've already uploaded into NuGet site and it is called a codecowboy.network route and what that does is uh, give the IP routing table functionality that is wrapped in the w, uh, Win APIs available to C Sharp. So in the code here what I want to do is uh, show you the project. So I'm going to right click here, go to properties and this is a class library. What I want to do is fill in the appropriate information in, in the assembly info because that will be used in your NuGet specification files that is um, automatically generated by the NuGet utility. So if you notice here the assembly info, I have this filled in and you could also uh, fill it in via uh, this uh, project property dialog here. So once you do that, you wanna go into your command line here and just type in NuGet spec and then the csproj file. So when I do that, you'll notice I already have a project file or a NuGet spec file generated against my csproj. So if I go into that file, you notice what it's created is a bunch of variable replacements. This will take the variables from your assembly info and replace it in here. Now, one thing it doesn't do is the licensing. So you wanna put in this license tag here with the type expression and whatever license that you have. Now it does accept particular strings as licenses and I will also have this in the description file. Now it has a bunch of options here. MIT and the BSD one is the most common but there are others that it will accept. Now just going back to the file here you'll notice you also want to fill in the project URL. So I do maintain this project in GitHub. So I do have the GitHub URL here also. So that is the first step is merely to create the NuGet spec file. Once you create the NuGet spec file and you filled in the appropriate parameters, the description and uh, the tags, you want to fill in the tags to whatever search engine or keywords that you wanted to recognize in the new git org site. And then after you've created the new spec file, you simply have to execute the new git pack. And what that does is that actually creates the new git package file here, the NUPKG file. That's merely a zip file that gets uploaded. So once that's done, you simply go to the website. So I'm logged in here in my website and there's an upload button and you merely just navigate to the NuGet package and you'll notice it's created with the version number. This is a very typical recognizable NuGet package here with the, with the name of the component and the version number. And you'll notice here, I already have this existing. So, uh, but that's really it. That is how you upload your packages uh, to NuGet. And after you've done that, it will show up here. And they will do a virus scan and it will be publicly available. So that's really it, that is how you create a NuGet package, upload it, and um, that is for the .NET framework. And I hope this helped, and uh, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.